Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I have some really nice information for you guys. And I told you so. No, I'm not going to say I told you so. But um, let's start with NEO. NEO is trading at $7.82 this morning. It's up again, $0.37. Cents. The 52-week low is $7 and the 52-week high is $16.18. As you guys know, I hold, as a disclaimer, 2,260 shares at $3.53. And my son now holds 1,526 shares at $12.06. And on the SoFi platform, I hold 391 shares at $9.03. I've been averaging down over there whenever I get a chance. <clears throat> So the reason for this video is yesterday I did a video on NEO, but and I told you guys pay attention to what NEO is doing on a yearly basis because it's a new company. Don't look at what they're doing on a monthly or weekly basis and pay attention to what the company is doing on a hold on a hold for future right so you you invest based on future projections as well not just what they're doing now like some people the trolls try to say stuff like well when do you project they're going to be profitable they're not making any money right now they're going to go bankrupt so <laughs> anyway deliveries rose by 60 percent from a year ago so you look at what they like i said what they're doing on a yearly basis 60 percent from a year ago we delivered 16,074 EVs in October, up 59.8% in the same period a year ago. Okay. Deliveries included 11,086 sport utility vehicles and 4,988 sedans. Now we are selling high-end EVs, right guys? <clears throat> We're selling high-end EVs, not what Xpeng and Lee Auto is selling. We're selling high end. We're competing against Benz, BMW, Audi. But what do you think will happen, guys, when we release the sub brand in China next year? We release it in Europe and possibly because Gavin Newsom wants Chinese cars in California. That's going to be, I said this again, it's going to be our gateway into the American economy. American market, excuse me. So when we flood the American market with these cars, with these EVs, these $21,000, possibly less than $21,000 EVs, who do you think these Uber drivers will use? And we, and we lay out our battery as a service and battery swapping stations. Do you think these Uber drivers will want to wait 20 minutes to charge their Tesla when they can just pull in and change and go? So that's why I say you have to have vision when you invest in the stock market and don't crap your pants when the stock go down or else you should not be investing, especially in new companies and new startups. You have to have vision to see where they're going or else you should not. You should stick to companies that are already established. So I just wanted to say a couple other things to you guys. Lemonade is a company I spoke about uh, a couple months ago and I said they were close to bottoming out and I started buying shares of Lemonade. People were buying it at $180, $100, $160, $80, $90, $70, $60, $50, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000,
but more technologically advanced. So Elon Musk has to step his game up and start innovating at a higher pace again. Anyway, the Feds held the interest rates steady at 5.25% yesterday. So the market is in the green today because of that. But they said that they can still raise it in the future. They're going to keep an eye on inflation. Well, with us printing money continuously to send to uh, uh, weapons manufacturers for Ukraine and now for Israel and for Taiwan, I don't see inflation coming down, guys. So keep your eyes on that. I always say keep cash on hand for the next big pullback. Next week, the Treasury will auction $112 billion in debt. Auctions are important to us investors because they can provide a look into where yields are heading. So this is very important for us. And Disney is buying Comcast remaining stake in Hulu for about $8.6 billion. Now, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing because some people are saying that the woke agenda that Disney has started will just translate over into Hulu. And, you know, it, it, this is for a lot of the conservative uh, people, this is not a good thing. So I just wanted to give you guys a nice quick update on what's happening. And again, why I'm so bullish on Neo, why I believe we're going to make considerable money with this company in the future, why I keep buying the dip like I did again yesterday for my son. If you guys found this video informational and inspirational, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we get rich or we die trying, guys.